the Caucasus Mountains. Rugged, remote. This is Svaneti, Georgia, and this is Glenn from Travel with Glenn. First, I want to take a moment to thank you for you taking a moment to visit our travel channel. And for that, you are in for a treat because we are traveling to a place where time seems to move differently. It whispers rather than shouts. Here, history isn't confined to books. It's alive, tangible. You feel it in the weathered stone underfoot and in the wind whistling through ancient villages. Svaneti is a land of stark beauty. Towering peaks pierce the sky. Deep gorges carve through the landscape. Waterfalls cascade like silver ribbons. This is a place that demands your attention. It commands respect and it rewards those who seek its secrets. Scattered across this breathtaking landscape are the stone towers of Svaneti. Silent sentinels, they stand guard over the villages and valleys. Built centuries ago, these towers are more than just defensive structures. They are symbols of a proud and independent people, a people who fought hard to protect their land and their way of life. Each tower has a story to tell, tales of feuds and invasions, of resilience and determination, stories etched in stone and whispered on the wind. These towers are a testament to the enduring spirit of Svaneti. They are a reminder that even in the most isolated corners of the world, human connection and the will to survive can prevail. Imagine a time centuries ago when the Caucasus Mountains echoed with the clang of steel and the thud of hooves. These mountains, you see, were never truly peaceful. They were a crossroads, a place where empires clashed and raiders roamed. The Svan people, fiercely independent, needed a way to protect themselves. Their answer? The towers. These stone fortresses, some reaching five stories high, were more than just watchtowers. They were refugees. Families would retreat inside during times of conflict, hauling up livestock and provisions. The towers, connected by hidden passages and secret tunnels, became lifelines, and they worked. For centuries, the Svan people, shielded by their stone guardians, managed to hold on to their land, their culture, and their freedom. Step inside one of these towers and you're instantly transported back in time. The air is thick with the scent of wood smoke and old stone. The only light filters through narrow slits in the walls. These weren't just defensive structures, they were homes. Places where families huddled around flickering hearths, sharing stories passed down through generations. And in the corner, often overlooking the room, you'd find a small altar a reminder that even in times of war, faith provided solace and strength. The towers, you see, embody the Svan spirit, a blend of resilience, resourcefulness, and deep spirituality. They are a testament to the human will to endure, to protect what is precious, and to keep faith alive, even in the darkest of times. Today, the watchtowers of Svaneti stand silent, sentinels of a bygone era. Their shadows stretch long across the valleys, a reminder of the past that refuses to be forgotten. They are more than just tourist attractions. They are living monuments to the ingenuity and determination of the Svan people, a people who, against all odds, manage to preserve their unique way of life. These towers, weathered and worn, have witnessed centuries of history unfold. They have seen empires rise and fall, wars waged and peace treaties signed, and yet they still stand, proud, unyielding, guardians of time, whispering tales of courage, resilience, and the enduring spirit of Svaniti. Deep in the heart of Svaniti, 
nestled high in the Caucasus Mountains, lies the village of Ushguli. This isn't just any village. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. And for good reason. Ushguli is a living museum, a place where time seems to have stopped centuries ago. Here, life unfolds at a different pace, a pace dictated by the seasons, the mountains, and traditions passed down through generations. Imagine cobblestone streets winding through clusters of ancient houses. Imagine the air filled with the scent of wood smoke and the sound of rushing water from the glacier-fed Nguri River. This is Ushguli, a place where the past isn't just remembered, it's lived, and where the spirit of the Svan people, their resilience, and their deep connection to their land is palpable in every stone and every whisper of the wind. What truly sets Ushguli apart, what makes it instantly recognizable, are its towers. They're everywhere, looming over the village like ancient guardians. Some stand tall and slender, reaching for the sky. Others are stockier, more imposing, with walls that seem to bulge with untold stories. Each tower is unique, a testament to the skill and artistry of the Svan builders. These towers, built over centuries, represent different periods in Svanidi's history. They tell a story of constant vigilance, of a people determined to protect their land and their way of life against all odds. As you wander through Ushguli, take a moment to simply observe these towers. Let your eyes trace the lines of their ancient stones, feel the weight of history they carry, and imagine the tales they could tell if only they could speak. Echoes in the Stone Ushguli isn't just about the towers, it's about the people who built them, who lived and loved within their shadows. Their presence is still felt here in the very air you breathe. Close your eyes and listen. Can you hear their laughter on the wind? Ushguli is a place where the past lingers. It stays with you long after you've left. Remember Ushguli, its towers, its people, and its timeless spirit. The Svan people. They're as much a part of this landscape as the mountains and the towers. Their lives are woven into the very fabric of Svaneti. Listen closely. Can you hear it? The rhythm of Svaneti. It's in the rush of the rivers, the whisper of the wind through the valleys, the clang of a blacksmith's hammer. It's a rhythm that's been beating for centuries, passed down from generation to generation, unchanged, unbroken. You see it in the way they move, the way they talk, the way they welcome you with open arms and share their food, their stories, their lives. They say the Svan language is a language older than time itself, a language that whispers of ancient rituals and forgotten gods. It's a language that's as unique and isolated as the people who speak it, a language that survives centuries of conquest and change. To hear it spoken is to step back in time, to a time before written words, when stories were passed down orally, from generation to generation. It's a language that's full of poetry and passion, a language that reflects the soul of Svaneti. In the heart of Mestia, the main village of Svaneti, lies a treasure trove, a repository of stories whispered across centuries. The Svaneti Museum of History and Ethnography. Don't picture some sterile, modern building. This museum is housed in a traditional Svan house, the kind of place with thick stone walls and heavy wooden doors that creak open like they're inviting you to step back in time. Inside, it's a labyrinth of rooms, each one a portal to a different era, 
light filters through small windows, illuminating dusty artifacts and faded photographs. This isn't just a collection of objects, though. It's a collection of lives. Each piece tells a story, a story of survival, of faith, of the enduring spirit of the Svan people. Run your fingers over the edge of a thousand-year-old sword. Imagine the battles it's seen, the lives it's touched. Peer into the faded pages of a handwritten manuscript. Try to decipher the secrets it holds. There are ancient icons here, their colors still vibrant despite the passage of time. Intricately woven tapestries that depict scenes from Svan folklore and everyday objects, tools, clothing, household items that offer a glimpse into the daily lives of the people who lived here centuries ago. Listen closely. Can you hear them? The whispers of the past? They're in the creaking floorboards, the rustling pages of ancient books. The air itself seems thick with untold stories. The Svanetti Museum of History and Ethnography isn't just a museum. It's a portal, a place where the past comes alive, where the spirit of Svanetti whispers to those who know how to listen. Leave the villages behind and you enter a different world a world of raw, untamed beauty. This is the true heart of Svaneti. The mountains here aren't just mountains, they're giants towering over the landscape, their peaks shrouded in mist and legend. Look up and you'll see Mount Shkara, the highest peak in Georgia, a jagged tooth of rock and ice that seems to pierce the heavens. The air here is different, thinner, cleaner. It smells of pine needles and damp earth. It's the kind of air that makes you feel alive. Trails of Wonder. Crisscrossing this wilderness are ancient trails, paths worn smooth by generations of Svan feet. These aren't your manicured hiking trails. They're rough, unforgiving, but they're also breathtakingly beautiful. They'll lead you through forests so dense, the sunlight struggles to penetrate. You'll cross meadows carpeted in wildflowers, their colors so vibrant they seem to glow. You might stumble across hidden waterfalls cascading down moss-covered cliffs or stumble upon the ruins of an ancient shrine half hidden by trees. These trails offer more than just stunning views. They offer a glimpse into the soul of Svaneti a chance to connect with nature in its rawest, most powerful form. Where Eagles Soar Look up and you might catch a glimpse of a golden eagle, circling effortlessly on the thermals. These mountains are their domain. They rule the skies here. Down in the valleys, crystal clear rivers rush and roar, fed by melting glaciers. The water is so cold, it numbs your fingers, but it's also incredibly pure. Take a moment to just listen to the sound of the wind whistling through the trees, the gurgling of the river, the distant call of a shepherd to his flock. This is the soundtrack of Svaniti, a symphony of nature played out on a grand scale. a symphony of silence. But perhaps the most striking thing about the Svaneti wilderness is the silence. It's a profound silence broken only by the sounds of nature. It's the kind of silence that envelops you, that seeps into your bones. It's a silence that makes you feel small, insignificant. And yet, it's also strangely comforting. It's a reminder that there's a world out there beyond the noise and chaos of everyday life. A world of beauty, of wonder, of raw, untamed nature. A world that exists on its own terms, indifferent to the concerns of humankind. This is the Svaneti wilderness. A place that will challenge you, inspire you, and stay with you long after you've left. A timeless legacy 
As the sun dips below the peaks, Svaneti takes on a mystical air. The watchtowers whisper ancient secrets. Svaneti is more than just a place. It's a testament to the human spirit. Beauty, culture, and tradition thrive here. It's a place that stays with you. You'll hear its ancient rhythms and see the faces of its people, feel the pull of its wild beauty, Svaneti. Join us for more location facts and delve into the stories that shape the world's most captivating places. If you find value in this type of content, please don't forget to like, comment, and it would mean the world to us if you share your thoughts with the Travel with Glenn community. Travel far and wide, let's take flight. See the world's wonders day and night. From sandy beaches to mountain peaks, every adventure, a memory we keep. Join the journey, share.